To a story now you'll only see on nine. A recent slew of seismic activity has raised questions for many in the borderland region, primarily on why El Pasoans have been feeling earthquakes so often. And is it something we should get used to or even be worried about? KTSM 9 News reporter Tirza Ortiz spoke with an expert over at UTEP who has those answers. And Tirza, what's the story here? What are we uh, feeling? Why is this happening? That's right. Well, extreme heat, flash floods, and of course, those freezing temperatures. These are all weather events that people here in the borderland are getting used to, but there could be another one to add onto the list, and that is, of course, earthquakes. Now, I did speak with a seismologist here at UTEP who says the pursuit of energy could be to blame. Pretty seismically active over the last 10 years. West Texas has been having uh, elevated levels of earthquakes since about 2017. And these earthquakes have grown in size. Stronger earthquakes occurring at a more frequent rate. Borderland residents have been rattled the past few years, feeling tremors from quakes that are happening hundreds of miles away in West Texas. Here we had one in November of 2022, one in November of 2023, and then, of course, the most recent ones that were felt very widely here in El Paso. The recent five-level magnitude earthquake striking in Toya, Texas, one of the largest in the state. Scientists pointing fingers at hydraulic fracturing or fracking as a root cause. Injection of wastewater created by the process of fracking. It wasn't fracking itself. It weakens the faults and actually releases stresses that are there already. You're not creating new stress. You're actually cracking the rock and you're trying to do that so that you can get all the oil and gas that's naturally in the, in the rock. You can create earthquakes that way. Despite the number of earthquakes increasing, Velasco says El Pasoans don't need to worry about the faults in West Texas, but look towards our own landscape. The activity that we need to be concerned about is much closer to home. The Franken Mountains were formed by a big earthquake fault. The USGS essentially has developed a scenario of a possible magnitude 7 along that fault. Adding this scenario shouldn't shake you, but instead push you to prepare for the unexpected. Earthquakes that are happening in West Texas, even though we're feeling them, don't necessarily present a hazard here. Um, even if they're larger, even if it's a magnitude 7 out there, um, it won't necessarily cause damage here in El Paso. So to not panic about that, but, but be prepared is the bottom line. Be prepared for any natural disaster. Now, there are efforts being made in order to reduce seismic activity data from the Texas Railroad Commission showing that there is less injection wells, and that is in part due to staff actually reducing where those sites can be made. But for now, live at UTEP, Tears Ortiz, KTSM 9 News, back to you.